Um, I'm gonna just add the uh, cabbage mm -hmm. and the uh, green beans, and then that's it. It's basically we're done with the veggies on the veggie side. Taste the tomato sauce and let me know if it's okay already. If it needs more salt or <laughs> it is perfect. So there you go, and it's, it's pretty, it's pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. And then um, you know, of course, you just uh, you know you can you can put a little you can put some parsley on it. You can yeah. put. Um, I like to put a little bit of, uh, of course, salt. Uh -huh. After. You yeah, just to, for texture. After, yeah. Yeah. Yes. And a little bit of olive oil. Yeah. yeah. Just drizzle it on top. Yeah. You're right. It looks very comforting. Yeah. A little bit of fresh black pepper. Okay. And then, of course, ah, the sauce, of course, which is um, served separately. Yeah. Put it in a bowl so it's nice and thick, as you can oh, see. Yes. So very rich. But it's a very versatile sauce. This, uh, yeah. It can be a base for. Many it can other be a base. Things. Yeah, it can be a base for a pasta. Actually, it can be a base for for almost everything. So, okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so there. And if you want, we can actually um, get a little bit of broth. What you can also do is you can strain the. You can strain a bit of the sauce, huh? mm -hmm. so you can just put put that there. And do you it serve it on the side? Yeah, yeah. The, the the soup itself you serve on the side because you, you the way we did it before was you know the the meat was here, a uh, platter of meat, mm -hmm. a platter of vegetables, okay. and then the the soup bowl with the yes. soup, uh -huh. and then rice if you want. So what you did was you went from you know the meat first, and then the veg vegetables. Then you decide how much soup you want, and then of course you put the sauce on top. Oh. So there, there you it go. is. Voila! Voila! Congratulations! <laughs> thank you very, very, You're very much welcome. for sharing this with us. You're very welcome. Thank you, and thank you for stopping by here. We have seen how Bacolod is truly a haven for foodies. We end our culinary tour of Bacolod here at the ruins, which used to be the magnificent home of Don Mariano Laxon. The place has found new life as venue for many of life's celebrations marked with food. We would like to thank the Sugons, the Puentebellas, and the Gastons for sharing with us their kitchen and the food of their childhood. This has been My City, My SM, My Cuisine in Bacolod. We'll see you next when My City, My SM, My Cuisine goes to San Fernando, Pampanga. Thank you. My city, my SM, my cuisine.